James, when you have the military folks here, what does that kind of mean to you and what message are you sending to your team with that? Yeah, we just we just want to be appreciative and respectful and, and uh, you know, obviously there's so many different groups and organizations on this campus and in this community and with it being Military Appreciation Day, uh, excuse me, uh, game this weekend, we want to make sure that we connect with those guys. Uh, we've done this every single year, starting to build some relationships there. Uh, we've also talked about maybe partnering with them a little bit in the off season, doing some projects together, some leadership projects, some um, you know, team building projects, or, or uh, you know, some leadership stuff. So, so that, that, that's probably the other reason for it. But more than anything, be able to show respect to those guys. I know Saturday, um, I think there's over 7,500 seats or something like that uh, that people have donated for uh, military. Uh, men and women and their families, so pretty cool. James, what's been done this week, as you said, Saturday, to make sure everyone in the building knows you're getting back to your form? It's, it's, we're on it. I mean, it do doesn't take a whole lot more. I think everybody kind of realizes I made this, I made the comment, and it's been, it's been really good, you know, from that point on. I think the players understand it, and the coaches understand it, and, um, you know, the, the reality is I don't think we were far off of it, but in, in, you know, when, you, when you've lost two games by a total of four points, it doesn't take much. It's, it's every little bit. Um, so, you know, just getting everybody kind of, you know, focused back on what, what truly matters and what's going to allow us to be successful. James, how pleased have you been with the past two days of practice? I think it's been good. I thought, I thought yesterday was good. Um, I thought today was good from, you know, from what I've seen so far. Um, you know, I, I, I've been pleased. I think we got a few little wrinkles on defense and a few little wrinkles on offense. Uh, did some more self-scout studies, some things that I thought, you know, could help us. Uh, the coaches did the same thing. And, and you know, I, I like where we're at. You know, I've had some conversations with people, um, players, about things that we need to do in terms of being more physical in the running game and uh, defensively, you know, playing with, with the type of passion and, and pride and flying around like we have. Um, and then special teams, you know, obviously just being a little bit more consistent. So I, I like where we're at. We got, we got to go out and execute. We got to go out and play the way we're capable of playing on Saturday. But you know, so far, it's been a good week of preparation. Hey, James, DeAndre's made a number of big plays this year. When you look at him both as a receiver and as a punt returner, what dynamic does he bring to the team? Well, he's just he's so much more mature and so much more experienced. He's been in these positions before. Um, but he's playing with just so much more confidence right now. The game has slowed down for him. He's a great decision maker right now as a punt returner, which, you know, as a freshman, you know, I wouldn't necessarily say that was the case, but that's typical of freshmen. Um, but he's just playing with a lot of confidence. We feel like he's going to have some opportunities on Saturday. Their, their punter can really bang the ball, so we're hoping he's going to have some opportunities there. And um, I know Trace has got a lot of confidence in him, and I know Coach Gaddis has got a lot of confidence in him. He's just... He always could run, but he's so much stronger now. He's he's you know, really mentally tough. Um, he's focused, and he's making plays. You know, so you know, we're we're very pleased with him and his development since he's been with us. Saeed also had a big play this weekend, touchdown, broke a few tackles, things like that. How do you evaluate his play? Yeah, Saeed, you know, Saeed's I think you know had a really good career and is having a really good year this year. He's a guy that can really run. You, know, you talk about a six-one, six-two guy that can flat out run. Um, you know, whenever he's able to get in space, you look at the, the posts that he's been able to you know, run and make big plays or when he's able to catch the ball in space, um, you know, he's got a chance to turn it into a big play. We're going to need that from him. Obviously, you know, some of our guys like Saeed that are New Jersey guys, you know, they know a bunch of guys on these teams. Um, you know, so it should be exciting. It should be interesting. But I know, you know Saeed's had a really good year for us and a really good career, and I think he's going to finish out the season strong as well. With Sutton and DeAndre, you know, splitting time so much at Z, how do you think that's helped the two of them throughout the year? Well, I, I think I think probably more than anything, you know, from their perspective, they probably doesn't they probably don't feel like it's helped them because both of them want to be the full time guy. But you know, to be honest with you, we rotate those guys so much anyway. I, I don't know if it really matters, um, but it's kept both those guys fresh. They're both guys that that really can run and take the top off the coverage. Which is something you know that we try to do, obviously, with the explosive plays and things like that. So um, I think they're a really nice complement to one another, and I think there's a lot of trust and there's a lot of respect. There. You mentioned that word physicality a bunch this week. How do you work on that in the course of a season? Is that something that you can actually address? Yeah, you know, I, I don't think the physicality aspect is uh, kind of how we practice or what we practice. I think it's just I think it's just a mentality more than anything. You know, I think sometimes. You know, we're happy with just blocking the guy as, as well as we think we need to to get the job done 
rather than sending a message and trying to finish a guy and pancake blocks and things like that. And I had, I had to talk with a number of the guys, you know, this week. You know, th th these guys have done this. They've done it in their careers. They've done it in high school. I've seen them do it, but they've kind of, you know, um, I think just been satisfied with with you know what what we've been doing. And I think you know for us to go where we want to go, we got to take the next step. So um, I think more than anything, it's 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 a mentality. The hard part is you don't ever let them finish in practice because right. you try to stay off of the grounds. And that's the fine line is is you know understanding you got to practice at a very very high level from an intensity standpoint but the games you got to take it to that 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 extra level have you guys ripped four minute more in the last couple of weeks than you have or has that kind of been i know you guys work different situations kind of as four, four minute is kind of hard to do because unless you're going to go live yeah. it, it's really kind of hard to to do that in practice so we do it during camp and we talk about it but no um you know, that, that's kind of a difficult thing to replicate in, in practice. When we talk about the situation and how we want to handle it. I think for us, it's more than, more than anything, it's, it's continued to be aggressive. James, Rutgers has been really run heavy over the last four weeks. W what have you seen from their offensive line, from the running backs, from the quarterbacks that made them successful? Well, I think the big thing is the back. You know, um, you know the running back transferred from, from – um, Miami is a, is a really good player. He's 235 pounds. And he's a downhill guy, and I think he's a redshirt senior, so he kind of been there and very experienced and gets behind that offensive line. They run the inside zone. It's almost like a wedge play. They just kind of cram it in there, and um, you know they've invested in it. You know, there's been a shift, like you said, uh, from a production standpoint, but it's also been that's kind of who they've wanted to be the last couple of weeks. Early on, they had some turnovers and some sacks, and they said that's not how we're going to play. We're going to run the ball. We're going to play action pass. We're going to play good defense and special teams, and and uh, force people to beat us rather than beating themselves. And you know, it's it's worked out really well for them. I think right now, you know, they're playing with a lot of confidence. When you have some injuries on the on the defensive line, and they're all, and Rutgers is a run heavy team, how much more important do the linebackers become? Well, I, th I think very important. You know, you know, fortunately for us, most of our issues have been at, at defensive end. You know, we've, we've, we've been fairly healthy at defensive tackle. Uh, so we need to continue to, to do a good job there. And then we need to d develop the, the defensive ends that we're playing with. Uh, hopefully we'll be able to get some guys back, which, which would help as well on the offensive line and defensive line. Uh, but there's no doubt about it. You know, that makes it you know, more challenging on the linebackers that you know, they may have to fight off more blocks or escape more blocks and things like that. And that's that's going to be really important on Saturday. Since Kevin Gibbons played defensive end at Iowa for the first time, have you seen appreciable improvement from him at that spot? What was the word you used? Hughes? Appreciable. Noticeable. It's impressive. I, I've never heard of it. It's a good one. It is a good one. Um, appreciable? Yes. Love that. Um, yeah, I think, you know, Kevin has played well at defensive end, um, but we want to make sure that we can run our – entire package um, you know and, and there's there's some there's some small details uh, of the position that he just doesn't have the the cumulative reps you know that other guys have so I think you know investing in his time at defensive end is gonna is gonna help us it's gonna allow Brent to call the game the way the way he needs to call it because that that's the challenge is sometimes the play callers get affected in how they call the game because they're worried about the guys that are in, can they execute all the calls that they want to call? So I think you know, the more time that Kevin has playing that position, the more confidence we're going to have in calling the game the way we want to call it, and also put Kevin in position to be successful. Time for two more. James, well, the teams. Shane Simmons's progression so far this year. What have, what have you seen from him in spurts? Uh, and I, I, that's probably the best way to, to, to describe it. Spurts. He's had you know flashes of, of really good things, and you know like a lot of young players, uh, you know that as they gain experience, they show their talent at times, but then they also maybe aren't in the right gap or or uh, play high or whatever it may be. And you know he's shown some really nice flashes, but for all young players, it's consistency. It's can you come out and do it at a high level, you know, for a whole drive, for a whole quarter, for a whole game. And, and as the season is progressing, I know the coaching staff is gaining more and more confidence in his ability to do that. Um, I think very early on, we we're probably using him a little bit like Yoshaka, know, you know, in a situational player. But you know, he's getting bigger and stronger and, you know, he's, he's playing the run better than he has. And, um, you know, is, is really growing into kind of more of an every down defensive end, which is what we need from him, especially right now with the injuries we got. 
Well, the teams in the Big Ten in 2014, so did Maryland, so did you. Uh, your evaluation on what those two programs have brought to the conference from recruiting and from a football's perspective? Yeah, I'm, I'm worried about Penn State and Rutgers specifically in the game this weekend. All that other stuff, you know, I'm not really too concerned. I understand. Thanks, Coach. Thanks. 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 I'd never heard that word.